Hello, and welcome to Retro Roulette, the show that asks the question, what is a man, besides a mis uh, miserable pile of secrets? I'm your host, Michael Riley. With me is Danny Fortune. <laughs> Why are you a manatee? Uh, Jason Amherst. <laughs> <laughs> that was the joke, you fucking... <laughs> mushroom, mushroom. And Ashley Miller. Oh, fuck you. Like, it doesn't turn you on just a little bit to say it. I was trying what, to say manatee? I'm a manatee, but Mike fucking talked over me, and and, and, and Ashley was... I'm a manatee, writing. manatee, that's for sure. And I'm manatee right. like you know I've what? never manateed before. You know what? If you can't take this conversation seriously, you gotta. I can't. I can't. I can't take anything seriously ever. <laughs> no, clearly. Can't, can't get some help. I've spun the wheel. Here we go. Ooh, cookie crisp. Oh, what was that to do? Quest. Dang it. Yeah. Quest. Check's Quest. Oh, boy. No, it's not Check's Quest. <laughs> I would be excited if it was Check's Quest, because that's a Doom clone. <laughs> nah, this, this is... Uh, I'm actually I'm kind of apprehensive, because we're not going to see very much of this. <laughs> what no, we, what we are, been? because there's a lot of intro and... and we, uh, <laughs> we played a game of this series on the N64 roulette as well. Yep. Uh, uh, these these are games that are titled after Queen songs. Under pressure. Man, you know my favorite Queen song is Simbad. My apparently my, apparently Person of Lordly Caliber was a Queen song. I didn't know that. <laughs> that was the N sixty four games title. I mean, haven't you ever heard of that nineteen seventy nine seminal classic Queen song, Nigel Mansell's World Championship Racing? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I I much more prefer uh, the what? Oh, hold on to die uh, side. Series. He will use the power of tarot to die side. To die side. <laughs> Are you trying to tell me that a Japanese, possibly Japanese game, was mistranslated? <laughs> you get the hell out of town. Gotta, gotta love how the angel fairy is just shoving its ass out in your face, too. Bimmy. <laughs> what about, what about Bimmy? Bimmy. <laughs> just the way you said it. Please tell me your sex. Yes, please. Yes. I'm a female. Female why, Bimmy. Bimmy why? is female. <laughs> Wait, why did we... Why did he need to know that? Because of a mistake you made, your army is forced to retreat. What do you do? Uh, shrug your shoulders. This is like determining, I think, your stats somehow. What do you think is the most important ability trait which must be found in a, sex, a successful king? A sex, sex, a big dick. A successful king? Uh, action. It was a great show starring Nat Faxon and uh, Jay Moore. Fortune. It is sometimes said that victory is only luck. What do you think luck is? It's a four. Oh, it's a four-letter word that rhymes with fuck. Uh, luck is something you create. Sure. I don't know. Empress. What is this? As a king wishing to rule the world, what personality trait do you feel you most lack? I don't have a big penis. You need a big <laughs> penis to rule the world. Expansionism. Expansionism. <laughs> what a fetish. I mean, uh, I mean, oh, the death card. When amongst one of your trusted followers, a traitor is discovered, what do you do? Kill them. Yeah. Well, you fuck them first, them then you kill them. I will send them to the bitch. You will send them to the, the bitch? The yes. Bitch You're gonna send it's them to. Why would you send them? Hold on, I, Ashley. Why would you send them to my ex? Uh, in the country yeah. which you rule, 
A cult has started a rebellion. What do you do? You turn it into a John Tron video. Yeah. Uh, because send, sending, them, send your sending them to the bitch is like the equivalent of giving a homeless man a fake $20 bill. Sending them bitch. to the bitch just sounds like a fucking... Doobie Brothers song. Sending it to the bitch. Sending it to the bitch. It's like taking it to the Send street. To the it wouldn't be a Doobie Brothers song. It would probably be a Steely Dan song. You gotta send it to the bitch. Send it to oh, the, the hermit. Bitch. Yes, Donald Fazion has that. What is Vanya? I don't get it. But I'm here for it. There's Bimmy. Okay, he's alright. Alina. McLean. McLean Stevenson. <laughs> McLean Stevenson, the guy from MASH. Oh, Blake. Blake. A one hour painting class. Rory. Their, their costs are 120 goths. I need those goths. <laughs> Alright, we're good on that. Ah, uh, how do. How do we fight? How do we go? Oh, okay. Strategically. Scene one. Beginning. Boss. Ready. Oh, this gives off uh, Final Fantasy VI Overworld vibes. So those mode seven graphics. Let's move... Okay. Let's go there. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's move again. I don't know why we didn't just move all the way to there the first time. Let's go. Yeah. Welcome to my castle. I have been waiting for you. My name is Warren. Ah, <laughs> werewolves, London. <laughs> ah, Warren Zevon. Yeah, Warren Zevon, who rolls in his grave every time, every time Kid Rock opens his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Woody brings it some justice. Jerry sure, can't Nobody understand him some of the time. First, okay, I'm the only person that that knows who you're talking about, Ashley. <laughs> so why don't we tell the world about the wonderful, joyous man that is Woody? Because the world is not ready. <laughs> well, and I you don't know what? think Considering... the world will ever be ready. Look, we are on the cusp of World War Three. We have an election no, that, we aren't. that it could be detrimental to the health of the country. Woody is the least of our concerns and the most of our amusement. Did I? Where is the lie? Where is the lie? Oh, look at them precious biceps. I'm not even a biceps girl, but look at them. Oh, okay. Oh, liberate all the towns and temples of the island first. I need to get some fresh air real quick. I will be right back. So, I will be Gascania, right back. The other one that you were near up there. <laughs> Uh, all right, so I guess this. Okay, well that was qu liberation. liberation! 
<laughs> the fuck? I pulled a chariot card. Oh no, I'm Gavin DeGraw. <laughs> oh, you. chariot, yo. Oh, cool. Everybody's uh, strength went up because of that. Oh, chariot. <laughs> I'm thinking out loud. You found an item. <laughs> it is a Ben K. But don't rub it in. <laughs> oh, I think that's a spear. Everything is progressing in real time. Morning to night, night to morning. Time is always flowing. You must therefore be able to make quick decisions or lose battles. Okay. Nah, I don't need you to repeat it. Thank you. May the gods go with you, Bimmy. Thanks. Okay, so now send them to the other... Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. There. Go that way. <laughs> Squash bananas up your ass. Liberated! Liberation! Like libation! <laughs> I, I need a libation right about now. I pulled the lover's card. Oh. Lucky. My reputation went up. Sure. What? Eh? I don't... Go, Jojo sobs and runs off. Oh, he said he has to go. A situation come up. All right. So it's just ah. us for now. Ah. All right, I got to go liberate some towns. All right, I'm back. Hi, back. Uh, maybe it's where those little, like, houses are then? Oh. Do those count too? I don't know. I'm used to tactics, Ogre, over the Ogre battle games. Like, Gonna find out in just a second. As I go through the mountains, apparently. Is Dane still here, or is he being sad pickle? No, he actually has. Uh, oh, no, he left. Something came up. He had to go. Oh, well, I hope he's all right. So I don't think yeah, that... Yeah, no, that, I think he's fine. I don't think I did anything, Yeah, so. I guess you can take on the boss now. Well, I guess let's go. Oh, yes. I need some affirmations. I would love some affirmations. I fucking love affirmations. Um. I want to give oh, affirmations. Okay. I want to receive affirmations. We all just need to affirm in each other. Okay, so... Okay. Oh, now they're telling you to go back to other places, I guess. To learn information. Wow. Sure. This, is so uh, this, this is why I prefer Tactics Ogre over Ogre Battle. Okay. I hope I placed that flag correctly because I don't it didn't look like I did. Close enough. 
Man, I'm so fucking tired. I haven't even gotten in my cup. 500 yet. Yeah. Hmm. Nope, I'm good. Thank you. Okay. So, now we know that. Let's... Fucking go. go. Let's fucking go! Let me fight! Let me smash. Please. Yeah. What? What? To what the northeast? hell? What? So, that? Is it? I don't know. Guess we'll find I... out in just a second. That just looks like a blip. Well, I guess we'll find I'm... out. Go, Bimmy. Go, Bimmy. Go, Jimmy. Wow. He's actually crossing the water. Go, Squeedly. Go, Squeedly! Ah. Find out! Oh. There was a thing up there. Liberation! But there's something about them that's so funny. Fortune. Boo boo! Boo boo. I didn't realize this was Ashley Miller we were playing as. <laughs> well, I mean, she does have magnificent hits, so it only makes sense. Uh. Goodbye. That doesn't seem like a good card to have. My and name is Lance. Life. I am a knight of the Royal Zenobian Army. Zenobian. <laughs> Where's Franz? <laughs> he is early. You are Lance. He is joining me. Join All right. Me. Can I go back to the fucking thing now and fight? Can I can do I that? Go back? And do oh, boy, oh, no, you, can, you can now deploy you can deploy lands. Uh, can? Yeah. Can they're, they're telling you press X to deploy lands. Deploy unit. Yeah, I'll deploy. Uh, let's go. Right there. Y'all yeah, fuck y'all yeah, right there. And then we're going to move ourselves over there as well so that we may fight alongside Hans. Oh, yeah. There's Hans. Yeah, there he goes. Oh. Hoi. Go, Hans. Go, Hoi. Hans. Go, Han is rice in Japanese. Do battle with me and we will all follow you. Fight it out! Fight it out. I'm, <laughs> I'm not there yet. Oh wait, there I am. Never mind. Oh, uh, I think that's Lance who's who's fighting right now. <laughs> Tornado. Tornado. <laughs> Oh, no. Gonna throw some wind at you and make you blow, Torando. <laughs> Mias. Oh, yeah. 
Yes. Our hey. boys win Winners. <laughs> Yay. Oh, look, fireworks. That's a type of cooking style with tacos. Arpacoa. Alright, thoughts That's on Thoughts on Ogre Battle, the March of the Black Queen, Jason. The series would get better with the time, in my opinion. Uh once they settled upon the uh 3d tactical rpg style uh similar to like final fantasy tactics that's when they really got into uh that's really when they settled into their groove with like tactics ogre with that sub style um it's it's an acquired taste it's it's not it's not the best rpg but it's it's certainly unique ashley Oh, it looks kind of interesting. It kind of almost gives off some Sim City vibes. Maybe like some other building strategy game. Maybe like Risk, except just a little flashier and a little less annoying. I mean, I feel like most games like this owe a debt to Sim City because that was kind of the first of its kind, but yeah. Um, in any event, it's really not as bad as I was expecting it to be. It's I'm not a RTS guy. I don't really care for them too much. But of all the RTS games I've played, this one's actually not that bad. Um, could be a lot worse. Scores out of 10, Jason. Seven. Ashley. Seven. I'll give it a seven as well. Check box. All right, on to game number two of the episode. Mm hmm. Okay. Is there any accoutrements for this? Not really. Ah, this is an arcade uh, baseball game. Yeah, this this one was kind of neat, actually. Uh, oh, no, it's the far-off year of 2020. This Ir is, uh, this Ir is, uh, ironic, because there was no baseball in 2020, because everybody was sick. Yeah. <laughs> this, this, is, uh, this is an SNK game. This is the most wrong the game has ever been about a future. <laughs> yeah, 20, oh, no, 20. see? These are robots. Uh, that's fair. Well, some of them are. There were some humans there. I don't get a... No, I don't get a choice to watch. I guess I have to play. All right, so we have in yeah, the excitingly, game. we have the American Dreams, Tokyo Samurais, Naples Seagulls, Taiwan Mega Powers, Korea Dragoon, and Battle Angels. Pick the American Dreams. And then we have Battle Heroes, Ninja Black Sox, Aussie Battlers, Mechanical Brains, Metal Slashers, and Tropical Goyles. Oh my. Think I, American Ooh, girls. I think I will pick... American dreams. Now coming to the plates. They're just a baseball team. Anyway. Uh, Number two. Cody Rhodes. <laughs> Red Red in the store. Something, something, Cody Rhodes. Exciting league pennant race. Play a game. Let's go. Ah, shit. Oh, 
Oh, nice. Let's say, are they? That was a single off of that. That could have been a double. It hit the back wall. Oh God, that one might be gone. No, nope, it's foul. Ouch! That poor guy in the audience. Got beamed. Oh shit! I should have swung at that. Oh, that's a foul ball. Didn't even wait for that to land. Oh, that could be good. Nope. Not good. Let's go. Oh, that one could be good. Nope. Damn it. Two outs. That one could be good. No, it's not going to be good. <laughs> that is that is a pure pop block. Yeah, that that that's an out. Okay. Music. And out. Nice. Out. Awesome. All right. Hey, Mike. What? Did you know that the alien races in Star Trek have three ears? What? Well, uh, okay. What? They have a left ear, a right ear, and a final front ear. <sighs> You need to stop. <laughs> that 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 hurt my brain. That hurt my brain. Can you narrow? It's still clever though. No, it's not. Oh. Well, it's like dad joke vibes. You're a dad joke. <laughs> Probably to my dad, I am a joke. <laughs> but that's beside the point. Oh, I guess uh, Wolverine and Deadpool are going to host the Oscars in 2025. Yes, I heard about that. That might be promising. I wonder if they'll have a musical number, too. If they don't, I'm going to be upset because Hugh Jackman, let's be honest, Hugh Jackman, Broadway, yes. What? Great, Tokyo's up 2 nothing. Out! All right, good. They only got. I only let him get two runs on me. Son so of a bitch! What do you think about the uh, thing I sent to Jace? Damn, he almost took his tits off. Boom, bam, bow. Dum, 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 down. Up, up, down, down. But Fuck. BS down. Oh, right to the pitcher. Right in the pitcher. Right to the belly itcher. That one's probably gone. Nope. Oh, there are, is there not a home run in this game? Uh, there is, but you gotta, like, hit a hole. Like, it's it's like hitting a target. Okay, then. You gotta hit the hole, Mike. Hit it just right. Just like on prom. I wouldn't know. I went to prom with a gay man, but he was hot. I went to prom with a gay man. <laughs> you bunted? Shit! Pick it up and throw it! Pick it up and throw! 
connection nice. established. I went to bed with the gay man. <laughs> it changed my whole fucking life. I'm sure it did. Well, I didn't go to bed with a gay man. I'm not in their um, demographic. <laughs> like, oh, sweetie, that's good for you, but no. Eh, eh. Yay! Nice, I kept them only up by two. All right. I'm having a way easier time playing this. I usually suck at fucking sports games. I mean, yeah, it looks it's, it's pretty cool. decent uh, being an arcade game. Yeah. I mean, it looks cool. It's, it's... That's a that's a single. Yeah. Single I made it. Awesome. Single, baby. Single, double, triple, baby. Yeah. Ooh, tacos. And yes, I am having tacos. Good <laughs> for you. Well, that means I will finally get my tacos at, after this long time. A fell Well, you guys remember. It's like the back when I think I can't remember if you were playing like Tactic Two or whatever, and I was going on and on about a Dosa printer, and I had I had a craving for tacos. We were I was playing and Dusk, and I remember that because it was oh, a yeah. it was one of our YouTube shorts. Ah, uh, dicks. But I digress. Oh. Nice. You know what? You have a point. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Uh, eh, eh, eh. But I digress. That was way okay, up, way up, way up. He's got it. With weapons in the form of words. Why are you singing Fallout Boy? because uh, it got it got caught in my head at the moment. Don't really <laughs> care which side wins. Yeah. This is the business I'm yeah. This ain't a scene, it's a <gasps> arms race. This ain't a scene, it's a oh. arms race. <laughs> His name is Sayonara. Get fucked! Oh, nice. Sweet. Oh, shit. That was a little sw Wait, that was sw sweet play, dude. Can you talk again? Uh, okay. Okay. Now the now the anim now your animated uh gift card is showing up on my phone, not just my laptop, but my phone. Ah. Oh, that's so. Oh, cute. get out of here! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Ah, oh, he's under it. He's under it. Nope. I could have gone. I guess I could have gone two on that one, but that's all right. He's under it. He's under it. Foul. I'm not over. Okay, all right, go, 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 go. He's turning two. Shit, shit. Oh, thank God. Do I have enough time Did to not want him to turn. There. Did not want him to turn the double play. That's yeah. That was a ball and a half. Nick, do I have enough time to grab tacos? Five ball. Shit. I tipped it off. Oh, I almost didn't hit that one. Oh, man, it landed just foul. That sucks. Damn it. Left a guy stranded on base. I, I just noticed the uh, typo there with the, the pitcher's name, Haina, 
instead of Hanya. I never would have picked up on that if you hadn't said anything. Because it's supposed to be Japanese. So Hanya is supposed oh, to be a shit. kind of devil mask. That was an interesting foul ball. Oh, God. Get fucked. Yeah. I'm getting the hang of this. Yeah. Oh, that one's off the wall, probably. Oh, shit. Oh. If I hadn't have moved. Nope. Oh, computer called time. He bought a power up. Oh, fuck off. How do I call time? I can't. Oh, there we go. I, I call time. Where's my... Uh, your picture is Fireman. Okay. Oh, damn. My pitches are like 240 miles an hour. Oh, God! It might be. Nope, it's not. Bink. Come on, come on, come on, come on! God damn, that bounced all the way back infield almost. Yeah, but he ain't gonna... He only got one base out of it, so I'm not worried about it. Yeah. Stukiyaki. Stukiyaki is a Japanese stew. It's consisted of a That was a legit home run. That was home run, yeah. A sweet meat and broth, sometimes with beef, sometimes with uh, tofu. It really sucked, and, too, because uh, that was a three-run homer. Yeah, like, sushi? That's supposed to say sushi. Maybe it's sushi. The S-I is supposed to be S- It's May supposed to be S-H-I. How do you know? Maybe it's supposed to be Susie. No, like, that is just a bad English, uh, Anglicization of, uh, the, uh, the, the Romaji. Because if you notice, everything is split into two letter syllables. Sakura. Sakura. Notice, by the way, that this yeah. is actually a female baseball player. Yeah. In 2020, gender doesn't matter in baseball. <laughs> but in, in this game, in 2020. <laughs> yeah. In 2020, in the real world, nothing mattered because everybody was on lockdown. Right. Let's go, bitch. Right. Ouch. Oh! Ah! Oh! That was a good catch. That's my pitcher. I still got a pitching arm power up on. Whoops. Yeah, uh, no doubt about that. That was foul. Ouch. Oh! Uh, somebody's going to be under that, though. Yeah. Damn it. All right. We're going to call time there. Uh, thoughts on 2020 Super Baseball, Jason? You know, it's interesting with the whole, like, banking money and power-up system and everything. It's it's definitely an interesting arcade game. Oh, banking uh, money? So you mean this, gonna... was, this would have been Pete Rose's favorite baseball game? <laughs> Rest in peace. Whoops. <laughs> da, 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 da. Too soon. Sorry. Da, da, da. <laughs> Hall of Fame bid. What's that? 
No, he he really should be in the Hall of Fame. Do it before they put him in the ground. Even though they, even though betting has always been illegal on on doing it that way, and also he apparently flirted with a minor or something like that at some point. I don't remember. Yeesh. Yeah. Yeah. No. Like, nah. This this is actually one of SNK's like better uh, sports games, um, just because of the arcadiness of it all, with the whole like buying power-ups for everybody and whatnot like because it's not a pure sports game with real teams and stats like it's actually pretty damn fun i i thought that this was a cool game ashley uh well you know i mean it's a little it's it's still a base game but it's a baseball game with robots i dig it yeah, uh, I got the hang of that fairly quickly. I'm usually crap at sports games. I mean, I still lost. I was still losing by five runs, so it's, that's not a surprise. But, like, I got the hang of it. It, it. it felt natural, intuitive. It was actually a really fun baseball game. Scores out of ten, Jason. Seven. Ashley. Seven. Yeah, I'll give it a seven as well. All right, one more game this episode. Let's see what it be. Oh, Mike's Mike's choice. Interesting. Oh. I think we're going to go with this bad boy right here. Booty ba da ba do nde na me na me no ba ni ba nde. Just uh, think of the fabulous Thunderbirds in the year twenty one fifty one. The war to end all wars broke out. That war nearly destroyed the entire planet. Yo, you might have predicted a little too far in the future on that. Yeah. <laughs> During this crazy time, a man came into power who called himself Jade, the Fighting King. The Fighting King built a huge tower in the city to show off his small penis. As time went by, the power and reputation of the Fighting King grew. Many fighters tried to defeat the king, but none came back. Everyone was beginning to give up hope that the king would ever be defeated. Until... A tournament was called. The champions of the remaining four great states were chosen to challenge the Jade King. With the four champions decided, they headed off through the desolate lands towards the Great Tower. That sounds familiar. This is where we pick up the story. Only you can hope to save the world from fading into utter chaos. It's a tough enough. It's a tough enough. Uh, yeah, time limit off. I don't think I need that. Works for me. Let's play some tough enough. Or dead dance. Uh, story. So it'd be Sio, Zazi, Katano, or Vance. It could be Katano. I knew you were going to be Katano. Weapon, bare fist. Oh no, he's going to fist me with his bare fist. Or something. Oh, this looks like a simple fighting game. Ooh. You look like you have two knives. Yeah, I do. I, yep. Oh, it must be like uh, Street Fighter controls. Yeah, quarter circle bullshit, which is fine. 
It's very Street Fighter. It, it's very, very reminiscent of Street Fighter 2 to me. Oh, no, Messi. Let's go. Yo, yo, yo. Yeah, I do prefer the the uh, Japanese title to the American. The American title just dead dance. Yeah, the American title just sounds real stupid, don't it? It's it's like yeah, no. Movie. Even even the American box art is pretty dumb by comparison. Like, Jalico saw the uh, promotional used in a uh, European magazine for this game, and was like, "Yo, your art is so good. Can we use this on the box art for the game?" And they were like, "Yeah." I don't need to replay. Thank you. Nope. Next stage. Vorts. Nope. <laughs> He vortsy coffee in my moots. Tuesday is coming. Did you bring your coat? I am feeling fat and sassy. Do ya? Do ya? Come on, little child. You cannot hit me with your little weapons. Damn, Vort, you me. suck. Have you even thrown a fucking punch? <laughs> Dude, did, I don't think he threw a single punch. <laughs> I just wrecked his shit. Wow. Boy, you are just looking as ever. Uh, let's go, Vorts. Why does your name sound like a rental car company? <laughs> Sounds like something Pinky would shout. Vorts! Yeah, exactly. What are we going to do tonight, Brian? Vorts! The same thing you do every night, Pinky. Again, I don't think he threw in a single punch that whole match. He kicked. That's the thing. He was trying Ooh, to do like a strike, and you dodged it. Well, I beat the absolute dog piss out of him. Oh, I know you did, honey. Oh, no, I mean, you, you know. did. Yeah, the the purple life me. bars is certainly interesting. Yeah, that is a that is an interesting touch. <laughs> He's just laying there. <laughs> Screen cut back to him. Zazi. Zazi? <laughs> what is this, Zaza Gabor's brother? <laughs> Yo, what's up, my Zazi the piece. Zazi, Zazi. What about Zoidberg? What about Zoidberg? Man, what you doing and coming in here living with them nasty ass pigs? Look at my boots. They make they make these UGG 2.0 shit. At least he it's threw at least he threw a punch. <laughs> and it was an uppercut, but it was a punch. Well, for the most part, Oh he's shit! I, do I d deftly dodged that fireball. Uh, he, he tried spit on that thing, but it wasn't nope. effective. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Haley, oh. Haley Welch, he is not. Hey, oh, my God. No. <laughs> he tried to do it again. Yoda it didn't flame. Work. Yoda flame. Yeah, discount Yoda Flame. Tivu do Timu Dalzim. <laughs> he really kind of is. And... Yeah. Just... No, I am just... just absolutely wrecking his shit. Get absolutely fucked, Zazi. This ninja girl is something. Katona may be OP. Yeah. <laughs> just might be OP. Just slightly. <laughs> I just love I love the, the the white back and then the sudden fade. <laughs> oh god, he's gonna, gonna, gonna hit me with his sack. 
Oh no! This must be the, <laughs> this must be the champions from previous years. He must go or to the people who tried to fight. He, he, go, he must go to Wendy's. Wendy's nuts hit you in the face. <laughs> it's not it looks like it's a freaking reject no. from Fist of the North Star. He looks like Biff Tannen from Back to the Future. <laughs> <laughs> the the future Biff Tannen, who's already conquered the world thanks to his sports almanac. It's like the quaff, the ridiculous the, uh, outfit. The statues of Abobo in the background. Oh yeah, the, the Abobo statues in the background. Is this is this related to Double Dragon? This game? No, because this is a Jalico game. I was gonna say, then why Abobo? That's weird. That's an odd choice. It just looked like Abobo. <laughs> so this must have been a deep must. Basically, I think you're gonna be fighting the previous fighters that quote unquote disappeared. That's what I think. I don't know. There's no way that this guy was the fucking big, big king of fighting. Oh no, you're you're not nearly near the top of the tower yet. Yeah, no. I would be very disappointed in a story mode that only lasted four fights. No. Um, well. Post-apocalyptic Earth, year twenty-one fifty-one or two thousand X in the Japanese version. Let's the inhabitants of Earth. Uh, to the inhabitants no, he's of Earth, to it suck seems his own like dick. the. Sorry. Uh, Dolph? Dolph. From Libya. <laughs> Rocket launcher and Bowie knife. I am from Libya. <laughs> My name is Dolph. I am uh, from Libya. <laughs> to the inhabitants of Earth, it seems like the only chance for a decent life is to fight in a survival of the fittest scenario. A man named Jade finds a powerful blue fighting armor and calls himself the Fighting King. Hello. With it, he quickly gains control of the world. Using both. his newfound power, he erects a tower with six guards. Many <laughs> try to erect. take Jade's power away, but they die in their attempt. Some weeks after the building of the tower, a tournament is held all over the world to see who is the strongest. Of the many Hello. fighters, I am only four people are chosen. They now need to fight each other to see who is going in the tower. The plot dialogues of the story mode and final epilogues were excluded from the North American and European oh. versions. Well, of course they oh, were. Oh, those motherfuckers. I am Dolph. Welcome to Dolph on Golf. See, I like the little wind dancers before a match. That's that's what makes it a story mode. They ripped us off. Uh, well, at least the names actually were kept kind of the same. Xiao is Sho. Zazi I, was Zaji. I really hope Dolphin. Uh, in the, is Patono. I really hope in the Japanese game, Dolph uh, uh, is Dorf. <laughs> Dorf on golf. <laughs> uh, Bort is Bolts. Uh, beans is Beans. Dolph is Dorf. It's Dorf? Uh, it is Dorf! Rick. Nice! Dorf on golf. Yep. My joke was a lot more accurate uh, than I thought. <laughs> Ray Mizuno is Mizuno Ray. Uh, Gadget is Gadgetto. Uh, Shiro is Shiro. Kaze is Kizu. Jesus, he's trying to suck his own dick there. What the fuck? Ray! Um, Kotono, 19 year old female ninja from Kyoto, Japan. Her fighting style is Kuki Shinden Ryu Ninjutsu. Master of sword fighting, she uses kunai and kick attacks. Her motive is revenge on Jado, who killed her father. Careful, you're fighting a guy with some iron shoes. Yeah, I, I, I saw the thing. His iron shoes don't fucking impress me. <laughs> Man, his Jodan's are lethal. It's fucking metal Nikes. So I don't give a shit. Kendo expert and magician from Japan. The ability to summon spirits which aid her in combat. Ooh. Mike, summon the ancestors. <laughs> My ancestors? I don't think they'd be of any use, unfortunately. <laughs> it's it's funny, actually. I think they changed the sprite because Ray is supposed to be female. Oh, interesting. Or at least the description describes Ray as female in the description. So. 
<laughs> the Department of Redundancy Department. Yeah. The description describes her in the description. <laughs> the description is that she is... Uh, this, this, this game is kind of, you know, like, mind-numbing in, in its just cliché-ness. <laughs> Too bad you can't do fatalities. That'd be cool. No, but I love this white back, and he's, like, uh, bending over, farting or puking or whatever. Oh, look, it's Saget. Oh, I mean, Gadget. Sorry. Go, go, Gadget. Great strength. <laughs> kind of, it kind of is almost... He's kind of almost akin to, like... Uh, Vega. Who's the protagonist from Splatterhouse? He is, Ve he is Vega and Sagat combined. Look at him. He's wearing the Vega mask, but he's all roided out like Saget. <laughs> that is so... Oh, Bob Vega! <laughs> yeah, that is definitely uh, the and vibes I'm he getting here. Why is he dressed up like an XPW wrestler? Come on, Because he doesn't want it. No. This is exactly why I wore a shirt when I wrestled. I didn't want to gross anybody out and show everybody my man boobies jiggling all over the place I don't want to give somebody motion sickness while I'm wrestling <laughs> yeah but even the guys who have like the skinny fat bodies wear shirts I don't I mean, know I don't know do. about all that I was just speaking for myself I can't speak well, for I... anybody else but I understand your style I understand your style and, and you did kind of adapt to like the, the onesie. Or what is it? Singlet, singlet, right? Singlet. Singlet. Well, I, I chose singlet because I couldn't keep my, my fucking tights from sliding down my pants and showing my ass. I don't like that. But the singlet, yeah, there's a singlet lot of them circumvents guys. that. Yeah, because built in suspenders. Basically. It's, it's, it's just one giant leotard or unitard. So it's just yeah, it's perfect. Hi, look at me! I'm Vegeta. I wear and am a walking unitard. I am. Hero. I am a unitard. <laughs> Another one. Another champion. You might uh, eat this before this is done. Yeah. No, there's uh, there's I, only um, two more characters I'm after Shiro. Saying. I, I, I was going to say, we are kind of running out low on time, though, so I think we're actually going to have to stop here. We're, we're, we're like a couple minutes from an hour here. So with that being said, thoughts on Tough Enough, a.k.a. Dead Dance, Jason? I you so know, prefer the uh, original name. Yeah, the original name is so much better. Um, for, for a Fist of the North Star knockoff uh, that, that apparently plays like Street Fighter... Yeah, you know, I mean, Jalico tried. Um, you know, it just seems like a very middle of the road fighting game. Everybody was trying to copy Street Fighter at the time, and uh, I mean, uh, n now I just need to see if there's an actual translation patch for Dead Dance because this game seems like it would be way more interesting with the actual like story mode beats that in between is, each of the rounds. That is a fair point, and I would probably like to see that myself. I think it'd be a lot more of an interesting game with the story beats. Uh, Ashley? Uh, it's not a bad-looking fighting game, and it looks like it would be a lot of fun, but I kind of feel like they took out some of the elements that make a story mode really pop, like the before and after banter. That that I know it became more more uh more at the forefront of current fighting games, but you didn't see very much of that in like previous fighting games of years gone past. And it would have been nice to see that in this. But other than that, it looks like fun and I wouldn't mind playing it. Yeah, uh missing story beats aside, it's a solid fighting game. Like I don't, it's not going to be remembered among the best of the best, especially with a goofy-ass name like Tough Enough. Um, and as I've said many times, I prefer the original name. That just sounds better. But, uh, but 
I digress. Uh, it's very solid fighting game. Controls very well. Easy to get into. Very intuitive. Uh, overall, not bad. Scores out of 10, Jason. Six. Ashley. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go seven. I'm also gonna go seven. <laughs> we also almost, if it hadn't been for Jason six, every game would have got three sevens today. <laughs> <laughs> On this edition of the show, we played Ogre Battle: The, Rise, uh, the March of the Black Queen, 2020 Super Brawl, uh, Super Baseball, and Dead Dance. On uh, best game of the episode, D Jason. Uh, Ogre Battle. Ashley. Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, Dead Dance. I'm actually also gonna pick Dead Dance. Uh, so Dead Dance wins. Thanks for joining us on this edition of Backseat of a Retro Roulette. If you like what we do, please hit subscribe and be sure to hit the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. For Jason Amherst, Ashley Miller, and I believe a little bit of Dane Ford, John. I think he was here at the very, very, very start of the episode. He was uh, here at the beginning. Yes. So for <laughs> for Dane, Jason, and Ashley, I'm Mike Riley saying, see you next time on Retro Roulette.